Hello and welcome back to Outer Wilds. This is the Statue Island. Oh, and there it goes. Um, well, that's exact. <laughs> that's eventually where we're going to need to go uh, to sort of do a brief recap. Uh, last episode, we made it down to the heart of Giant's Deep, uh, found the orbital probe cannon, and uh, learned well the coordinates of the the Eye of the Universe. That's quite something, isn't it? Uh, it's in our ship log, uh, but there's a few odds and ends that we need to clear up uh, before we head back to wherever the uh, the warp core may be. I suspect it's going to be somewhere in the Dark Bramble, um, is sort of what we've gathered from some of the lore. But anyway, here's Statue Island. Uh, first things first, let's unlock all the secrets here. Now, According to the ship log, it can be ent entered in a, in a dangerous uh, way. That's the way that the uh, the kids uh, entered, apparently. And uh, subterranean, or, or subaquatic, I suppose. Subnautical would be the name of the game. Oh, my goodness. And there we are. I don't know if things are going to be a little bit anticlimactic here, considering that we probably have made the most significant discovery already. But, you know, we'll check it out. This is probably just going to lead outside. Yep, to this little gap area here. Uh, cool. So presumably, Statue Island is not only where the, the first statue that unlocked Gabro's consciousness was found, but this is perhaps also where they are created. And as we found, they are in fact, well, and sort of deduced previously, uh, they are they are memory storage devices of a sort. Yarrow, would you kindly step back so Daz is closest to the statue? When pairing, the statue will choose whoever is in closest proximity. See how its eyes have opened. That tells us the statue has paired with Daz. Now, no matter where he is in the star system, Daz's statue will record his memories and send them to the Ash Twin Project. Interesting. Okay, so they're sent to a central repository, I guess. This is extraordinary sculpting work, Flux. He has outdone himself again, hasn't he? And now that we have our first successful pairing, he can test my memory storage prototype. Each statue will send a single Nomai's memories to his or her own storage unit within Ash Twin. Each storage unit will be equipped with a mask. The statue's counterpart, which will be able to send those stored memories back to the corresponding Nomai. So what is the mask in this case? Each storage unit will be equipped with a mask. The statue's counterpart. What am I wearing that is... Yeah, I don't know. Interesting. It seems like a statue is the, is the transmitter. And then a, a mask is the receiver, right? Like that, that mask right there. But what am I wearing? I didn't think I was wearing any mask. There's the statue. Oh, is that what the Nomai actually look like in real life? They look a little... Uh... <laughs> uh... Stranger than I would have expected. More more goat-like. I guess the horns should have given that away. Capric, I think that would I think wouldn't that be the adjectival form of goat-like? A la Capricorn. Anyway. Ash twin projective uh, projection stone. I've installed the masks inside the Ash Twin Project flocks. They look beautiful, although I do feel as though I'm being observed. It's comforting to know the statues will not pair until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. Ideally, they'll only need to activate one once the project succeeds. As a safety measure, however, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. So I suppose the probe detonating the orbital cannon was the, the triggering event to uh, create the, the activation of the failsafe, right? Will they? Uh, or they will? Why is that? 
If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin project, the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. And yet, they are no longer with us. Uh, so in a way, they are and will continue to be unaware of the issue, I suppose. Unless they're still out there somewhere. I don't know. So this is the yeah this is so these are the, this is the mask location but we've never actually been here now I, now that I'm sort of looking up here I do see like these cross beams uh, and there's there's like a light over there of like some kind of like lighting and is that oh wait is that the um hang on a second that looks like a little solar system model that I'm I'm like barely seeing the outlines of. Like, not the stars, but I'm seeing some kind of sphere pass in front of... Yeah, like up there. I feel like I'm seeing something. I can't quite tell what that is. But in any case... Whoa! Okay, they should put some guardrails there. Uh, in any case... Now we know what to look for. Now these this geyser thing... Still not 100% sure the significance of that. Oh, well, it's because they're using the geysers to send stuff up to orbit, right? That that was the uh, that was the explanation for those. Okay. Uh, is that everything here? We've made a full circle, I think. Unless there's something down here. Oh, or actually, there's stuff up there that we should check out as well. I wonder, wonder if these are some early prototypes. Alright, how how would one get up there? Oh, and there's... Oh, great. Okay, well... Uh, maybe we use our ship as a... Um, as like a step ladder. What do you think? And gravity is strong here. Alright, let's go. This is going to take all our gravity. Oh, that still wasn't quite enough. Oh, we're going into orbit. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. All right, lock onto the ship. Match velocity. We're going in. This might get a little hectic here. There we go. Man, this is very like Millennium Falcon. Punch it, Chewie. Boy, okay. Well, we didn't we didn't make it out completely uh, unscathed, but we're alive, and that's really what matters, huh? Let's let's reorient ourselves. All right, our hull is r well and truly damaged. Let's set her down. Let me go. Let me go check her out. How are we doing? Uh, seen better days, that's for sure. Can I repair stuff even when I'm in the water? Not quite. We, we may have to come back. Which is fine. We'll treat our ship with great dignity and care. As we seek to get out of here. All right, let's make let's set her down over here to do some temporary uh, repairs. There we are. All right. Oh, here we go. There we go. That's one of them. How you doing there, old girl? Said, didn't it say landing gear was damaged? Everything seems to be in relatively good uh, condition, though. Artificial gravity damaged, port hull damaged. Well, the port is the left, right? Here we are in the port. Oh, here we go. And then artificial gravity, I'm not sure which unit that is. If only there was a schematic of some kind, huh? 
Uh, well, I mean, the artificial gravity doesn't really matter all that much for our purposes. Oh, right here. I see. I didn't realize that's what it does. Oh, but that makes sense now because now I recognize these as one of the crystals that we use to walk uh, upside down. Okay, well, let's check in with our ship log here. Statue workshop really just connected to the Ash Twin project. That's fine. Okay. Um, I'm just curious. Let's just go underneath one more time. Just to see if there was anything of significance in that upper level. It's possible that this is a, a non-starter. Went up a little too early. Here we are. Beautiful. Okay. How to get to that upper level? Man, I really wish I could climb on top of my ship. But gravity is just too heavy. I guess the only way to get up there would be... Um, only way to get up there would be when we're in space. But if we're in space... Oh, well, yeah. If we're in space, then we're probably going to bite the dust when this lands again. Seems problematic. So, uh, do we just wait for us to go into space again? Then we'll sort of poke around up here, see if there's anything helpful... And just kind of resign ourselves to a, uh, a pasty fate, as it were. Yeah, it's possible there's nothing, but... There's also something... Did we already go up here? I think we did. I mean, it's possible that maybe we can jump across. I never... I didn't actually try. Ah, uh, there is something up there, isn't there? I mean, it might be crazy. Is it possible I could just land my ship up there? Not even have to wait for... the whole, uh... artificial gravity situation? Very tight quarters here. Possibly. Oh, yes, but no. All right, let's read quick. I'm curious, is sending a being's memories back in time the same as sending the being itself back in time? Good question. As an example, if we were to send my memories back in time, is that not the same as sending me back in time? Not my physical body, but my essence. I imagine they're two different actions. Wouldn't both actions be effectively the same? I'm curious, uh, suppose... Time was being rewritten. I believe this is different than receiving uh, memories from what is effectively the future. Uh oh. Oh, we made it. Uh, sort of. Okay, that was interesting. Okay, let's get back into the ship and try that again. We actually did end up. I think making it onto that upper level against all odds. Uh, oh, let's rotate, rotate. Now we're sort of. stuck all together. Well, I'm wondering if this is a situation where we abandon ship. So long, little girl. It's been real. Uh, and you know why? You know why I don't feel too bad about that is I think we're actually going to go into the eye of the hurricane. Uh, sounds scary, and it is scary. But uh, there is a big old hurricane that's around here somewhere. You 
You wouldn't think it would be this hard to find. But uh, essentially is gonna... Oh, there's Gabro's ship. I didn't see below, below the surface. Yeah, look at that. But uh, there's a massive hurricane. This kind of... Is, this, is it over here? Yeah. And I suspect it's guarding something inside there. I don't know what. Now, it's going clockwise, which means we're about to get launched into the air. So we should conserve some fuel to be able to come down somewhat safely on whatever is about to be here. This is very scary. Unless we can just go under it. Can we just go under it completely? Possible we could just totally not get caught in it. Come on. Ooh, feels like a pretty strong current though. Uh, I think our, maybe we're going under it. It's hard to say. Or maybe, maybe the current's so strong we can't even get inside. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So I think we're actually going to need our ship. Which is a problem. So, I haven't really done this before, um, but I think now's the time for it. We're just going to abort this loop. And if my knowledge is accurate, I think we sh should still retain our, um, whatever knowledge that we, that we gained in our ship log, right? Like, I believe the ship log updates and saves instantaneously. So, I don't know how we're going to mark that in the death counter, but... <laughs> An out-of-body experience? I don't know. Quitting. But anyway, uh, perhaps if we can't make it into the hurricane, uh, you know, on foot, in the loosest, loosest sense of the term. Maybe we can make it in our, um, in our ship. Because we could probably just kind of, like, helicopter hover it in from above, right? Like, it's a fairly big target for us to hit. So if the current is too, um, too swift, we got to dodge these things every time. It's debris. Our lateral velocity is not too crazy. Okay. Oh, and then there's all, there's also this island here that we haven't done anything with. Maybe we'll go check it out here. So this is my thought. We go up here into orbit. Where is the eye of the hurricane? Oh, it looks like there's like a day-night cycle type thing here. How have we done? Whoa! There is something very significant there. Okay, we're on to something. For sure. We just need to go a bit farther forward. And get ready to dodge whatever that that was. That uh, Like a massive stone tower of some kind. for a landing. Wow. Now that, that was a landing. Holy. Whoa. <laughs> well. Huh. I'm not, I'm not getting that ship, so here we are now. That, that was a heck of a landing, but we walked away from it. And any landing you can walk away from is a good landing. Hmm. I guess I should have tried to bring it in here, huh? Is there stuff down here? Oh, you know there is. 
this a puzzle to so Oh, it's the quantum moon uh, symbol, isn't it? Yeah, sure enough. Trees detected, huh? Okay. Let's go inside the, uh, the structure properly. Somebody's been nice enough to lead some, leave some torches for us to follow. Hopefully this doesn't get sucked up into the atmosphere, but it seems a bit more grounded, so we might be okay. A little more permanent. Wow, now that is an elevator. Be welcomed in this place. This tower shares with all who ask the knowledge needed to make his or her first quantum journey. That would be us. Uh, yeah, I mean, seeing as we've seen the quantum moon symbol, this seems pretty inextricably linked with that particular quest. Oh, man. Sending us way up here. Okay. Enter this place without friends, however. These are lessons to learn for yourself. Well, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Anyone else here? No? Okay. Oh, that's where we... Uh... Is that where we just were? Now, is this a thing where we look through the gate and everything looks different based... Uh... Okay, I've, I've entered this place without friends. That was the easy part. Am I, am I meant just to jump down? I don't see any other... I don't see any other uh, instructions. So I guess we're just going to jump down. Unless things are changing, but I don't... I don't think things are really changing that I can see unless I come around here. Is there anything different? Can I look through it? No. I think I'm on the right track, though, so here we go. Seek the Wandering Arch. Is that it? Is it wandering? And then I just go down it again. Okay. Unidentified signal. Oh, hello. Island shard. Hello. Oh, where did you where'd you go? All right. And then I just keep you in sight. Well, okay. I understand what I'm supposed to do. Let me just look around to see if there's anything else to pick up or read or anything like that. Okay. Observing a quantum object. Observing an image of a quantum object. These are the same. How is that possible? Like, philosophically, observing the image of a quantum object. So if I just took a picture of, like, I don't know, the quantum moon, for example, and I just put that picture, like, on my dashboard, then it would just stay exactly where it is? It seems like a pretty significant loophole that nobody's exploited, uh, exploited before. Oh, I get it. So there's going to be an arch up there, and if I go around the corner, then it's going to disappear. So what I have to do is go into photo mode. Uh, how do I do that? One. Okay. There we go. I've got a picture of you. You're not going anywhere. So now I can come up here. I can go all around. I can do whatever. And it's going to be right here. Okay. I understand. I would not have put that together myself. Uh, okay, put that away. So now what? Ooh, what is that? That's something new. The arch and the crystal do not naturally meet. Which arch and which crystal? Oh, that one up there. Okay. Oh, even the instructions are 
moving around. Uh, Alright, I can't get up there. The arch and the crystal do not naturally meet. However, we would like them to. So if I, basically, the idea is if I take a picture of you and then keep looking around, try to get the crystal to be on the same... There we go. All right, now they've naturally met, so now what? Oh, now I take a picture of them both again? There we go. You guys are stuck. So now, what do I do? Oh, I walk, a, it's, it's that type of crystal. Got it, I did not realize that's what I was looking at. All right, solid. Hey, this is kind of a fun little uh, portal-esque um, level. I'm actually kind of digging this. I'm actually kind of digging this. There is a candle-ish. There's one of those crystals up there. Okay. Oh, I need to read the instructions. Stop moving. This is the last one, but we made it harder. It seems like a message directly from the developers. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, there's two of them right there that are together. So let me take a picture of those. Now what else what else is at my disposal? Like what else is moving around? Uh Like those lights are still there. Uh I'm a little confused because I need one more to get up there and I'm not seeing one that I have to align. So let me put this away. Oh, it's continuing to change. Okay, what if I completely look away? Okay, there's one. Oh, I see. I'm going to have to take photos as I go up the wall, right? So let me do that. I'll get as high as I can. Whoop. There's definitely a limit. Alright, I'd like to go higher, please. Like, I'm looking away. Shouldn't, shouldn't this one get slightly closer to me? Because I'm looking away, and... So if I if I get rid of the photo, it's probably going to drop and drop me, right? Well, let, let's just test that theory. Let's get kind of nearish to the ground so we don't totally mess up. Oh. Okay, hang on. Oh, this is good. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, let's think about this. Let's take a picture of this one. Okay. Keep this in view. Come up here. Now look away. Oh no, I got both of them in the photo. That's not what I meant. To, not what I meant to do. I meant to just have this one in the photo. Right? No. Just have the second one in the photo. Boy, this is this is complicated. But just have that one in the photo. Okay. Hey, there we go. Um Oh, why did wait, 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 wait. Now, why didn't that work?
Okay, all right, hang on, hang on. Okay. I take a picture of this one here. I need to get that, that one to come back down. to this. I'm totally within its purview, so now I take a picture of this and this alone. I turn around. This one is here. I come up to it. Whoa! Hang on. It's like I... Oh, do I need one more to go up? So I come up here... I take a picture of this, and now what? Keep spinning around. No! I am awfully... I'm like, I need one more thing to get over the top, but I'm not sure what that is. It seems like... Try again. Take a picture of that. We're up here. We come up here. Take a picture of this. Spin around. Take a picture of this. Spin around. So, like, what do I need? What exactly do I need now to get? Oh, the arch. Arch moving around too? Arch is up there. Uh. I'm I'm concerned that if I try to go here. Oh, I just literally needed to walk up. I don't know. I guess I probably tried to rock it before. And uh, messed messed that up, didn't I? Okay. Scary, but successful in the end. These guys are going hooray! You did it. Well done. We offer our congratulations. You've learned the rule of quantum imaging. Take this knowledge with you on the remainder of your quantum pilgrimage. Remember, the other quantum shards have other lessons to teach. Our curiosity goes with you on your journey. You walk in the footsteps of those who came before you, and your path guides those who will follow later. Yep, I'm sure my experience of uh, breaking my legs on the floor <laughs> repeatedly will guide others. Well, you know, it's nice of them to say. It's the thought that counts, isn't it? Uh, and so back into the water, I assume, right? Yep. Uh, I think that's probably it, unless there's other things here to see, but I think it's just this one. Okay. See ya! Okay. Well, now that we have concluded that, I feel like there's not much more on this island that we need to see. Am I am I mistaken in saying that? Also, my ship is I think pretty much out of reach, especially with the oppressive gravity here. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna do something we've never done and just quit this loop as well. We've retained that knowledge. We know the secrets. So that's that's uh Two uh, existences quitted. So the question is Giants Deep, check. Ash Twin, like half a check. 
Uh, Ember Twin, full check. Brittle Hollow, full check. I think some of the other uh, celestial bodies that we've not visited yet, we probably want to go see. So Hourglass Twins, Addle Rock, Timber Hearth, Hollow's Lantern, Brittle Hollow, Giant Steep, Dark Bramble, the Interloper. I would like to give that another go. We tried once to... Um, not a very high degree of success. A pretty crispy end, I would say. Unfortunately. The trick, though, is going to be uh, being able to find where exactly to autopilot towards. Not even sure. View map. Yeah. Can I lock on? Oh, yes, I can. Okay. And can I autopilot to it from here? Where is it? Oh, beautiful. Engage autopilot. There we are. Let's try not to get uh, Kentucky Fried crispied by the sun or by the comet's tail as we attempt to land. I almost wonder if this is something we want to do without our ship. Like if we land, well, no, I guess I guess our ship is probably going to get cooked no matter what. So we're probably just going to have to be get comfortable about uh, just walking around on our own two uh, feet pretty soon, right? If the comet's tail is constantly rotating. I don't like how close we're getting to Dark Bramble, but... What are you going to do? Alright, there's there's the, the crack on it there. Match velocity, yep. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Let's make our way towards it. The crack is where the people are, right? Whoa, we're coming in hot, coming in hot, coming in hot. Okay. Okay, we got to get in there quick. Boom. And boom. Oh, it's icy in here. Uh-oh. I thought they said that there was a crack in here that we'd be able to... Oh, this is kind of fun, actually. <laughs> oh, I can move around. Quick. Quick as you like. Uh, this is not good. Okay, never mind. I thought that there was some kind of crack in the ground. There probably is. Maybe we need to... Keep it moving. I probably should have surveyed this, uh... Uh oh, careful, careful, careful. Now, doesn't that look like that's something here? Oh, it's the, when it's facing the sun, the ice melts, right? There we are. Okay, okay. Oh, gotta get out of there. Oh, that's perilous. Danger, ghost matter. Uh oh. All right, everybody chill. Rotate the camera. All right, down that tunnel, right? Or wait, is it the one next to me? Hang on, rotate camera. All right, I think it's, it's facing towards me right now. So what about this tunnel behind me? Okay, the tunnel behind me is okay. Thank you, Scout. This is where I came in, though, wasn't it? Fascinating. Okay, so when it's facing towards the sun, that uh, opens up... That opens up the... Uh, the ice. 
Oh, oh, oh no. Hang on. Oh, what is this? Hello. I'm receiving the much stronger energy readings now that we're beneath the crust. Whatever it is must lie somewhere below, closer to the comet's center. And I'm starting to think it's more dangerous than we realized. Clary, can you hear us? Yes, but your voices are faint. I fear we will lose communication entirely if you continue any deeper. Keep the shuttle warm for us, Clary. We'll return the moment we identify the source of the energy readings. I understand, but be cautious, both of you. They're attempting to find their friend. Alright, scout launcher, go. Alright, let's look to the left. Let's look to the right. Huh, where's the, where's the ghost matter? Okay, let's... Let's go here first. Okay. I think... This should be fine, right? I'm a little nervous, though. Like, we're constantly on the edge of death. Uh oh. Whoa. Okay. Vitals low, so we got our we got a, a one our one freebie. Where where is it? Hang on. Alright, let's light up this cavern. Uh Oh, down in the hole, huh? Okay. That's fine. Just don't go in the hole. Go over here. Oh, we should having our flashlight on would have been helpful, huh? Uh-oh. All right. This is Perilous. Oh no, come back. And the scout is having a real bad time, huh? Oh, okay. Oh, you can just shoot it at the hazard. Got it. So let's just go slow. This will keep... Uh, this will point us in the right direction as we kind of sled our way through. Okay. Oh, this is where we already were. So that's that's a non-starter. Oh, okay. There's something to the right that we got to look out for. So what about here? That seems to be more okay. We'll take it slow. Man, this is a really cool level, actually. Oh no! Oh shoot. I saw it too late. Whoops. All right. Well, I mean, we we understand the nature of the comet now. We'll we'll be a little bit prepared, more prepared to do this uh, properly next time. Okay, we are back in business. So now I understand a little bit more how to effectively use the scout. There we go. So we know that that is impassable. Uh, so we'll use this to sort of explore each of the each of the tunnels in turn. So that's the one we did last time, right? And it did okay for a while, but then it hit something about halfway down. Let's bring it back. This one here. Is actually fine all the way down. Interesting, okay. This one here. Uh, hit something to the right. That's not great. And then this one. Oop. Try that again. This one here. 
also hit something. Okay, so this is the one. This is the way. Okay. Let's do this just as a sanity check, right? Just in case. Turn our flashlight on. Okay. We know that this is where we're going to want to go, so let's come to a stop here. And then... Over here. This is the next one. Alright, so to the right. That's bad. And to the left. That's fine. Looks like. Okay. Keep pressing onwards. Cautiously. Oh, wait. Did we... Did we come full circle? Or is this a second one? Hang on. Let's read this. Um... I'm receiving much stronger readings now that we're beneath the crust. Hang on. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is where I came from, right? Huh, so... Alright, well... That's weird. So, is this something I'm going to need to basically change tunnels halfway? Is this one... Okay, let me go down here again. And we look for other... Like, if there's a way to stop halfway down. That's where the other tunnel joins up. And there's a ton of it down there, right? Yeah. But is that a necessary evil, perhaps? Oh! I guess we're about to find out. Okay, that's not the answer. <laughs> oh, this is hard. Uh, okay. Because if even going through Ghost Matter once kills you, that kind of looked like it was our only option, wasn't it? Okay, we're going to give this another crack. I'm going to come down here with the intent of looking for other holes or passageways. I definitely did not see any along the way. Oh, but there's something up there. Right? Uh, that's where we came from. So... Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay. I forgot that we're in, you know, zero G right now. Well, not zero, but... All right, what do we got here? Oh, that's not good. Uh, hang on. Are there, is there... Oh no, oh no, which way? I think this one's okay to go down. Yeah, seems to be okay. Uh oh. Now what? This way? Alright, to the left. Whoa. What are you up to, Scout? Oh, this is not great. Oh, uh, go up. Uh, oh no. Oh no. 
Nobody panic. Let's figure out where to go. Okay, I think that's where we just came from, I believe. So... I just need to sit and get my bearings for a second. May not be possible. Can I go over there? I guess we're going. Whew. Ooh. Maybe there's stuff in here. Or not. Hey. You okay there, buddy? Oh, he's got the crystals growing out of him, too. Uh... I think we're okay. Easy does it. Gonna float. Float like a butterfly. We can't sting because we have no guns to speak of, but... Oh! Hello! There's some, some bodies here as well. Okay, let's get close to that. The spherical stone casing here seems to be the source of the energy readings. No. Rather, the source is what's within the stone. I'm, a, I'm detecting some form of exotic matter. The stone is muting our energy readings. They should be ten times what we're seeing, at least. Pi, I don't think we want this matter interacting with us. As far as I can tell, direct contact with it would almost certainly be fatal. I've never encountered anything like this uh, casing but it's all that's protecting us from what's inside. Worse still, this matter is disturbingly volatile. Hi. Whatever the matter inside this stone casing is, it's more than just the more than just profoundly unstable. It's under tons of pressure. Look at this density scan. I've never seen anything this tightly compacted before. What is this? This is orders of magnitude worse than I'd imagined. If this stone were to rupture, the lethal matter within would rapidly expand, completely blanketing the star system almost instantaneously. And the pressure is still building as the comet approaches the star system. Return to the shuttle right now. The rest of our friends need to know they're in terrible danger. Leave your equipment and run. What are you doing, Pi? The more we know about this alien matter, the better our chances of survival. I will learn what I can here. Go warn the others. Maybe they could construct shelter somewhere. Now, Poke. So... Does that mean that this comet is going to continually, like, orbit closer and closer to the sun? And it's essentially like a... Like a... Like a doomsday situation. Like it's a... Uh, solar solar system wide nuke, I guess, right? So this this ghost matter that I've been kind of avoiding this whole time, if it if it detonates um, when it hits the sun, then it basically destroys the whole system, and so that's what we've been seeing this whole time. Is that yeah, ghost matter nearby? You don't say. Oh gosh. Well. Okay. Good to know. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Okay. I think when we come back, we're going to start putting some of the puzzle pieces together. Um, maybe we will go quantum moon hunting. Speaking of which... Who's to say? That will be a problem for next episode. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.